Welcome! I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I will be doing something new. Not any music reviews, not any book reviews, not any writing advice. I am going to be doing a July book haul. That's right. A lot of the booktubers that I see uh, they're doing book haul videos where they show everybody the books they bought that month. Now, I was thinking to myself, hey, I buy between 5, 20 books a month, right? Why don't I show people what I'm buying, what I'm reading? You know, maybe it might be of interest to some of you that know I write books to see what an author purchases on a monthly basis and reads on a monthly basis. So, welcome to my inaugural book haul series. Hopefully I'll do it every month. This one we're going to be calling the G July 2020 book haul because it's towards the end of July. I want to show you all the books I bought this month stacked right here. I think there's about 20. Like I said, I buy between 5 and 20 books every month. So we'll, I'll share them with you. So let's get this book haul started in high fashion. Actually, I don't know what order they're in. I'm just gonna pick, picking them up, up as I go. This one is Demon in White. It just came in the mail today. It's probably why it ended up on the top of the stack. Demon in White by my good friend, Christopher Rocchio. That's right, Rocchio. Yeah, this is book number three in his Sun Eater series. Now, if you love Dune, and if you love Name of the Wind, and if you love Star Wars, imagine a mashup of all of those things put together. This is a space opera that's written with the same flair and style of prose as Pat Rothfuss, mixed kind of with Frank Herbert's Dune. I really do believe this Mr. Christopher Rocchio, that's right, Rocchio, is the heir apparent to Frank Herbert and Dune. This is his third book. The first one, Empire of Silence, I reviewed on the channel not long ago. You can find that review somewhere on my channel. Let's see what comes up next. Oh, Michelle West, War. Yeah, she did her Sun Sword series in the early 90s. Now she's doing her, her House War series. A lot of the same characters from in both series, and I think we're up to about the 15th or 16th book in the series now, War, published by Daw Books. I've been collecting these in paperback form ever since they've been coming out in the early 1990s. I like this series a lot. If you like high fantasy in the, sort of in the vein of Melanie Ron, Jennifer Robertson, Kate Elliott, Mickey Zucker Reichert, C.S. Friedman, Michelle West fits right in that crowd. What's next? The Idiot, The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I love Tolstoy's War and Peace. It's probably one of my top 10 favorite novels of all time. I also love Anna Karenina, and I'm okay with Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky, and I'm okay with The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. I thought, I have not ever read this before, why don't I get it? The Idiot by Dostoevsky. It came in the mail about mid-month. I kind of read the back description. I flipped through the thumbed through the pages a little bit and I decided, you know what? I'm not going to read this. I ain't going to read it. I'm not interested. Why did I buy it? I ain't going to read it. I will, however, donate it to the prison library. As you know, if you followed my reviews, I work at the Utah State Prison. I'm heavily involved in the prison libraries. Any book that I get rid of out of my collection, or, or that uh, I just donate to the prison. So I have a, knowing what I know about the prison libraries, this will get donated to the prison libraries, and the inmates, they won't read it either. <laughs> but it'll be there. Don't know why I bought the book, but yeah, it's out of here. Jack Carr's third novel in his James Reese thriller series Savage Sun. Yeah, I bought that this month. I did a review of it earlier in the month. If you want to watch, look at my Jack Carr thriller reviews. I've got three of them up on my channel. 
you can do that. Jack Carr, he's a fellow Simon & Schuster author. Also, he's a fellow Utah, he lives up in Park City. I try to promote his books when and where I can. Oh! Oh, this one's cool. This one is cool. This is a collector's edition of Lord of the Rings that I bought off of Amazon UK. It's expensive, it's pricey, probably over a hundred bucks. All of them illustrated by the wonderfully talented illustrator Alan Lee, who worked on the Tolkien Lord of the Rings movies, Peter Jackson movies. I love this set. You know, sometimes you gotta buy collector's editions from overseas, you know, sometimes the UK versions are badass. And I just thought this was a beautiful, beautiful. It's illustrated throughout by Alan Lee. Great illustrations, a great set. I've got a, I've got a collection of um, Lord of the Rings stuff here, and it will go nicely in my collection. So that's, that's one of the better parts of the book haul, is that nice Lord of the Rings collection I got earlier this month. Let's see what's next. Oh yeah, it's pronounced Uranus. Uranus. It's not Uranus. We don't need any weird junior high school jokes about Uranus. We're not talking about Uranus. We're talking about Uranus by Ben Bova. Part of his grand tour series. I reviewed it. Uh, a few days ago on my channel, if you want to go watch that review about the Ben Bova science fiction books. They're great. It was another July per purchase. What else do we got? Oh, yes. Daniel Silva. The New Girl. This is book number 19 in his Gabriel, Gabriel Allen thriller series. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with this series by Daniel Silva, Gabriel, Gabriel Allen is the protagonist. He is an artist. He does art restoration on a lot of old ancient pieces of art in Europe, like in cathedrals or in museums. And he and he's a spy through and he's a spy on the side. It's like a secret agent. An artist posing in a secret agent. I like it. It's great. It's a grand, great, great, great series. Very exotic, cool. What we got next? Oh yes! The Baron of Magister Valley. This one just came in about a week ago by Stephen Brust. Stephen Brust. I read this when it came out a few days ago. If you are not familiar with Stephen Brust and you're a fantasy fan, you got to get on board. This guy has written from the since the early '80s. This guy has written some of the coolest fantasy books of all time. He's a grand master. If you've read the Vladimir Taltos um, Assassin series, it's probably got 20 books in that series right now. He's also got his Phoenix Guard series, which is sort of a knockoff of the uh, Three Musketeers. And the Baron of Magister Valley is sort of a mashup of Stephen Bruss writing style with the Count of Monte Cristo. And I might do a book review of this soon. We shall see. Stephen Brust, get on board. Get on the Stephen Brust train if you haven't yet. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, Peace Talks came out earlier this month. I don't think I really need to say much about this one other than I reviewed it on my channel. You can go find that review. Peace Talks by Jim Butcher. Probably the most anticipated book of the year and I think Jim Butcher delivered. What do we have next? Oh yes, Tom Clancy. You know, the dude has been dead for like 12 years or something. And he's still producing books. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. Dead and still writing bestsellers. Must be some sort of crazy witchcraft. Some sort of science that we have that Tom Clancy know, knows, knows about that we don't. Anyway, I bought this one and read it. I love the Tom Clancy series, even though he's dead. It's being, you know, these other guys are writing the books in the series, the Jack Ryan series. I follow it. I buy all the books. I think it's great. I've been reading Tom Clancy since I was a kid. Since the, my first Tom Clancy book I ever read was Cardinal of the Kremlin. I've been a fan ever since. 
What else we got? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this guy's last name. Bradley Baylou. I'm just gonna go with Baylou. Bradley Baylou. Bradley Bo Lee. Bradley Bo Lee or Bradley Baylou. I don't know. The Shattered Sands series. This is book number three in the Shattered Sands series. I've got the other two in mass market paperback. This is by Daw Books. Again, they did the Michelle West book that I held up earlier. Bradley Baylou or Bradley Bo Lee. Your choice. What do we got next? Brad Thor, yes. I just reviewed this one on my channel a few days ago. Near Dark. If you love, uh, again, another one of my Simon & Schuster, fellow Simon & Schuster authors. Near Dark, Brad Thor. I love his stuff, man. It's like Tom Clancy. It's like James Bond. It's like, you know, all of those guys. Oh, right, here we go. I bought a, tr for my final, final one, I bought a trilogy by Alistair Reynolds. His Absolution, his Revelation Space Trilogy. I don't actually know what it's called, but it's three books in a trilogy of some sort. And I already read these years and years ago. I have the mass market paperbacks in my library upstairs. I was at the Barnes & Noble the other day and I saw this wonderful, wonderful set of trade paperbacks put out by Orbit Books. I just had to get them. They looked so cool. They looked so nice. I had to get them. So I expect that I will reread these soon and um, do a review of them for the channel. That's the book haul, July 2020 book haul. I hope you enjoyed it to see what kind of books I'm reading and buying. And we'll see you at the end of August with the books that I bought in August. I think we had close to 20 here. I don't know if I'll buy close to 20 in August, but we'll see. We'll see. Until then, go out and get some of these books.